Oh, I think that's it. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and close out of that, because I won't be needing that for right now. Keep that up. Uh, okay, and there we go. Alright, so, as the uh, name implies here, we're just going to be playing some Hamlet with Wagstaff, which is over here, I forgot. There he is. Um... Because turns out, I was uh, looking back through my Don't Starve streams, and I wanted to see, you know, if there were any characters I skipped over that I uh, wanted to play as. And uh, I realized that I only played as Wagstaff during a, like, brief stream where I, I played as both Wheeler and Wagstaff in a regular not non-Hamlet world. So I was like, you know what? I've played a lot of Wagstaff since then, and I've played quite a bit of Hamlet since then, so I figured why not put them together uh, and actually give him a more proper stream to himself, you know? Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and start up the world here. I'm just gonna pull this up on my phone just to make sure everything's running smoothly. It sure looks like it. Let me just make sure... Yep, okay. All right. So, to be honest, even though I just said that I uh, played quite a bit of Hamlet, I have not played Hamlet in a long time, so I might be a little rusty at first. But rest assured, I've played quite a bit of Hamlet with Wagstaff, um, so I, I sort of know what I need to do and what not to do. That being said, I haven't really come up with, like, a certain goal for this stream. Um, I don't know if I want to kill, uh, a particular boss or if I just want to see how long I can survive for. Um, I do know, like, probably one thing I want to do is I want to set up, uh, Wagstaff teleporters between the two pig cities. Um, the starting one and then obviously the one that you have to go through the ruins to find uh, because that's just a nice fun strategy to uh, to do you know um other than that I don't know like I might try and kill that uh man Pugalisk I think his name is the one protecting the fountain of youth oh you know what there is that like that the, the I, there's that like android suit I don't think I've ever actually been able to make where you uh you have to defeat the the armored husk thing or whatever it's called and then take the the eternal life water or whatever from the pugilisk and combine it with parts you get from the iron husk in order to make yourself like basically an iron man suit that's really powerful and really fun to mess with um so yeah, I might consider doing that. Who, who knows? Um, I'll definitely try to go for some of the other standard things, like getting a key to the city and stuff like that. Maybe even traveling between worlds with a key to the city, making like a Hamlet town in a uh, Reign of Giants world. Because if so, that would actually be fun. Uh, having the benefits of Hamlet in a much easier to survive in world because the only real stressful thing about surviving in a Hamlet world, despite the fact that, like, literally everything sucks way more, um... <laughs> so I guess, you know, what I said was obsolete, but, uh, the, the real, the real problem for me is that doomsday clock. So, having to, like, find that temple and rewind it, otherwise, uh, you just get stuck in basically eternal hell. Is, it's just, you know, problematic, to say the least. Uh, and that's why being in a Reign of Giants world would be nice. Plus, I'm just more familiar with Reign of Giants. The seasons in Hamlet are a lot easier to deal with, especially for Wagstaff, because he can just use his goggles for the... Oh, the humid season, is it? Oh, man, I, I really don't remember these names. But, yeah. Uh, not only that, but... 
He also actually has those really powerful, like, in froggles or whatever, the things that let him see in the dark. Uh, those are really good for exploring the ruins and whatnot. So, I'm, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited to, to get playing. My stupid keyboard needs cleaned, though. Keep forgetting to do that. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and get started. Whoa! Okay, yeah, there we go. And let's go ahead and put these on right away. <laughs> oh, sweet, Flint. Right, so it's going to take me a little while to get accustomed to all this. Uh, I don't think I need the manure right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that. Uh, I see we've already got our pig village right here, so that's good. Um... To start off, though, I suppose we should just use up this machete to get uh, as much grass as I can. Um, and I see this tree over here, but if I can't do anything to it, then I don't think there's much of a point to investigating it. Um, I do realize that even though I, uh, I've learned a lot about Hamlet, there's definitely more stuff for me to learn because, uh, like, recently, actually, I was watching someone else, uh, play Hamlet. I, I honestly couldn't tell you who it was, I forget, but, um, I learned from them that the little cork barrel storage units that you can craft in this game, uh, can't be raided by the little, little dog things. That can they can raid your normal chest, but they can't raid those cork barrels, or at least that's what it seemed to me from what I saw. Um, yeah, these guys. So, you know, that's just one little thing I didn't know. I was like, why would you even want to use a cork barrel for storage? And that's probably why. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and ignore that ruinous entrance. Uh, I don't really think there's going to be anything in there I can get without an without a light source at least. Um, speaking of which, how do I make those in progress? Okay, that's gonna be relatively cheap. The only expensive part is gonna be gold, because that's hard to get in Hamlet. <sighs> At least hard to get early game. But yeah, you know, I'm excited to be back in Hamlet and be playing as Wagstaff. I, uh... I've recently gotten back into Don't Starve, although mostly Don't Starve together, and I was like, you know what, I really haven't played Hamlet in a while, and I feel like it, so let's do it. Uh, that being said, however, uh, you know, hopefully I actually do well, and I don't just die right away, because if I die right away, you know, I might not come back. <laughs> Alright, hey. Well, you know... I've got a decent amount of flint now, which is fine, but I kind of need some more other stuff, like um, gold, maybe, and twigs. I am spending most of my time chopping grass, to be fair, but I want to break this machete because your inventory gets stuffed very quickly in Hamlet. That's uh, one of the main struggles with it. Exotic flower. Right. Okay, so I see our pig village is just pretty much up and to the right. Yeah, so this is good to keep in mind. However, I'm still going to need to... Oh, I'm still going to need to uh, find, like, leave this area specifically to go find some other useful resources. Yeah. Please do not eat that. I need whatever food I can get. Although, not really. I forgot. Wagstaff has, like, a really big belly. Because of his, you know, uncooked food debuff thing. That's really not a big deal whatsoever. It's just like a weird ripoff of Warly. And I forgot just how good the music was in Hamlet, too. Hmm. I see we've already found a little farm over here. 
For now, though, I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm only exploring this area a little bit so I can get some, uh, wood. Because these trees are kind of the best trees for getting wood. Um, yes. Let's investigate. Even failure is discovery. Well, it would have been nice not to fail, you know. That's another thing to consider. And then one more tree should break the axe. Alright, and there we go. A decent supply of wood and some seeds in case if I get hungry. Now I'm just going to start following the world border sort of in this direction. And see what, you know, see what I can find. I'm looking for cave clefts mostly so that way I can get just one gold to make a science machine because without a science machine I'm kind of just useless. And honestly, it might be faster to just buy that one piece of gold I need. Like, if I could manage to gather the resources necessary to sell. Oh my goodness. That poor... Poor beetle. Alright, well, I better get out of here before I become their next target. Um... But yeah, right now, early game as always, so just going to be a lot of running around not doing much. <sighs> I do see that pheasant up there, or whatever they're called, and I, I do want to get some feathers from it. But I don't know if right now is the time, because I don't really have, you know, the inventory space for 80 different things. It's a peacock. That's correct. I forgot about that. Uh, but when you capture it like this, how could you not take advantage of the opportunity? Okay, well, you know, I was expecting to get multiple feathers from it, and I only got the one. Okay, um, ooh. Do you mind? I wanted to pick your feathers while you sleep. Alright, three feathers is not bad. Alright, and since we're here, let's go ahead and just cook up a couple asparagus and eat it. Um, let's try one more. Yeah. Alright, uh, I'll go ahead and look through these tabs real quick just to see if there's anything I'm forgetting I should make that I can make pretty easily. No, not that I can think of. Um, other than a couple tools that I'm gonna hold off on making because I don't have inventory space. Oh, what was that? Did I eat? Apologies, I have to take a text real quick. Alright, back to it. Let's just not get whipped by Vine right now. <laughs> oh, hey, and look, we found a cave cleft. So... Flint, but these are what I'm after, because these stalagmites are going to have a chance of dropping gold. Yes. Great. Um, let's keep mining. And let's, oops, did not mean to make that, but, you know, I guess that'll come in handy. Alright, now go ahead and just mine this. And wow, would you look at that, five gold nuggets already. Oh, and this is when we get out because we dropped a scorpion. 
Okay, now I can make a science machine, but I don't want to just yet because I want to make it in the pig village, sort of. Maybe. Because I don't have the resources necessary to follow it up immediately with a alchemy engine. That's why. Yes, I remember now. Um... I can chop these trees down, and I'm considering it, but for now let's hold off. And yeah, I see the crumbling visage. I don't have a ball peen hammer though. Let's just look for a little bit more gold so that way we can actually make the alchemy engine right away. Although I do think I can, but what is it? Four gold for an alchemy engine? And I have five on me, so yeah, I think I could. I would just need to have the appropriate amount of rocks and logs, so right now I have the... I, I could get the logs easily, I just need to get more rocks, I guess. Oh, what is this? Just a... that. Just a torch thing. I thought maybe that was one of the idols or whatever. But even then, I suppose I would still need a ball peen hammer. Are you kidding me? Alright, I'll walk around this way. How about that? Oh. I don't even want to eat those. Oh, I see there's already a bit of war going- Oh, okay, almost walked into that one. Okay, I'll just leave that situation alone. No need for me to get involved there. <sighs> well, food is pretty solid right now. Please, don't hit me. So far, nothing great yet. Again, I know I there's a lot of those investigate things that I could be chopping down, but I'm just gonna hold off till I have enough rocks. I think, no, I don't have enough rocks already. Oh, these pots are so smashable. Alright, I've been convinced. I will make a hammer. Even though it cost me some of the rocks that I needed. Oh, pigskin is good. I just hope I don't run out of inventory space. Oh, please leave me alone. I, I didn't know I got close enough to you. Alright, well, good thing he's slow. Let's just keep moving. So far, nothing but jungle this entire area. But hey, the jungles are normally pretty big, so, you know, can't, can't say I didn't expect this. Oh. Uh, let's go ahead and walk around this. Uh, you should be able to weave right in between. Okay, um, maybe not. Okay, there we go. That wasn't that bad. Hmm. Oh, and we found something interesting. The, uh, poisonous jungle or whatever it's called. Yeah, let's just go ahead and leave that alone for now. Uh, although, ooh, this entrance is already- Whoa, wait, and I can just enter? Hold on, I'm trying this. Okay. Hey, and I didn't get hurt, so that was nice. But yeah, having that right there 
is actually really solid because it means that I might not even need to make a gas mask to uh, find. I think that was the doomsday clock. Yeah, I think that one was the Doomsday Clock. Or maybe it wasn't, but I don't know. Enter Mantill. Um, hmm. Let's see. Oh, so we could go down or to the right. Let's see what's down. Nothing was down. Let's see what's to the right, then. Okay, now let's see what's up. Or though, can I mine these? Oh yeah, I'll mine this. Hey, there we go. There's some of those rocks I needed. Oh, and the pickaxe broke, but that's fine. I still have enough flint to make another. And then we'll go ahead and mine this one over here, too. Or not, because this isn't actually one. What? What am I running into? And there's a door here. Um, don't mind me, friend. Just gonna break your your weird boulder things. Enter the door. Watch out, I guess, for this. I mean, there's a door here, and this is the only door, so let's go ahead and take it. Oh, hello, friends. You all look very unhappy to see me. Ooh. I will just walk around you. Please, enter the door. Man, this is like the weirdest mantle I've ever seen with the layout of it. Like, I started here. What's going on with all these question marks, huh? And these definitely weren't here before, I don't think. So I guess, guess that quake must have opened up some new doors. I'm not too close to you, am I? Okay, pickaxe is broken. That's fine, because I can... Just ignore the rocks for now. I actually don't need more than this right away, so that's good. Um, let's go ahead and enter here. Oh, I see. We found the queen, huh? Oh, hello, Tom. Oh, dear. I just want to actually get out of this man cave now. Where in the world am I going? Um, let's go up, because that has a better chance of getting me out of here. Maybe. Oh, hi, Tony. Uh... <laughs> what can I craft? Oh, I can just craft more spectacles. That's fair. Enter a door. Ah, finally a way out. Alright, where am I now? I, I literally went like two feet through all that exploration. I just ended up a couple feet away. Alright, well... For now, I'll just... leave that, I guess. Hey, Pighead, though. A couple of them. <sighs> hey, and I'm out of the jungle. Also, that seems rough, Tony, having a... Uh, a cold like that.
Alright, finally, it seems I've found some more interesting things. I should probably make my way over to the pig village now that I have what I need to make an alchemy engine and a science machine. Uh, let's see if we can't get some of these feathers. Nope, oh, Wagstaff, keep picking the- no, don't do that, now you've just scared it away again, whatever. Five feathers is a good amount. By any man's standards. And where is this? This looks like what Wormwood would spawn in. Oh, it's the ring thing, duh. Okay, I understand. Um, I'll go ahead and grab these free rocks, why not? And now we're in the weird charcoal biome. Where all the uh, broken robot parts are gonna be. Man, I'm not used to punching butterflies and don't starve. I'm used to don't starve together, how you have to like... Predict their movements and stuff because of the... Because of the lag. And let's go ahead and reorganize a little on the fly. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go ahead and try and avoid the gnats. I don't have a pickaxe on me, nor do I really want to make one right now. Oh, I need this iron ore. Oh, I need everything here. Why do I... Okay, let's go ahead and just equip the hammer. Alright, and this is just a lever thing. So I can just ignore that. Um, I did say I needed to go to the pig village, but I'm now going to try and grab some iron first, since I'm here in the, uh, whatever biome this is called. Oh, no, please. Alright, well, guess I just have to deal with these guys now. That sounds really weird, Tom. Why do you have to sneeze when you first wake up? Uh, let's try not getting any more gnats. One swarm is enough for me already. Oh! They like the birds more than they like me, so I've, I've lost them. Hmm, that sounds very strange. Yeah, I don't know what that could be. Maybe you're just, like, allergic to mornings. <laughs> no, I, I genuinely don't know. Oh, there's a weird little land bridge there that feels like it shouldn't exist. Oh, so you're just allergic to school then, is it? <laughs> uh... Alright. I'm naturally making my way toward the village now, so... Th this is fine. I am going to need some charcoal for a crock pot. Once it turns night here, I'm going to cook some food. I'm getting kind of hungry. Nope, don't want those bean bugs. Please stop with the bean bugs. I don't need any more. Alright, let's go ahead and place down a campfire and try and cook some food to eat. It's raining pretty hard. The campfire might actually go out before nighttime ends. Oh. 
That would not be good. Alright. Now let's just try and do a couple productive things while I wait. <sighs> so the plan is to get back, make a science machine, and then with said science machine, make an alchemy engine, and then with said alchemy engine, make all the important survival things that I need. You know, pretty standard stuff. Oh, right. Let's go ahead and equip the hammer again. Maybe I should have kept that in the ground, but too late now. Um, I honestly don't have the room for the butterfly. And while I could just eat it right away, it feels like... You know what? No. There we go. Wait, someone lit a hedge on fire? Why? What do you mean? Like, they just... Like, I don't understand what you mean by that. They lit a hedge on fire? Alright, I don't need more twigs. Someone just walked up to a random person's hedge and lit it on fire. Oh. Isn't that, like, illegal or something? <laughs> uh, I see I'm naturally walking away from the pig village now, so I'm actually gonna turn around and just start heading there. ASAP. Well, then... Like... Why? <laughs> why did they do it? Do you just, like, live around insane people? Actually, if I- if, if there's anything I should know, I should know that you do live with some pretty insane people. But, that's, you know, besides the point, I would think people would have, uh, enough respect to not just light random hedges on fire. Alright, we're heading the right way. More flint? Can't be mad at that. Oh, okay, I understand. With that, at least. Oh, what is this? It's a rock thing. Surrounded by carrots. Being worshipped to the almighty gods? <laughs> I did not mean to pick that, and now I feel incredibly stupid. Please pick up the butterfly and not the dark flower. Oh, nope, don't pick the twigs. Don't need those. Oh, berry bushes. This would be very nice. Uh, inventory is too full, though. You know what? We can ditch the torch. And what else can we ditch? I don't really want to ditch anything else. So let's just... Let's start earning some money, though, by paying this guy. You want twig? Yeah, of course you want twig. Go ahead and pick one of these guys. Keep me nice and fed. Oh, right, I forgot. I literally wasn't going to steal because I didn't have a weapon or armor yet, and then I just now stole. The hedge was in the same street as your cousin's house, who had eggs thrown at- Oh my goodness, eggs thrown at the window? I see, so you, uh, have a bit of a problem. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. As long as I don't get hit, I'll be fine. Um... And I won't get hit as long as I keep moving. So as long as I keep moving, I'll be fine. Let's see. Oh, hey, look. Uh, that's the village right there. Which is surprising, because I wouldn't expect it to see it. Um, I would mine this boulder. Oh, wait, this is not the village. This is just the relic thing.
And this is the village. Okay. So, let's go ahead and find the rundown shack, so that way I can put the science machine just outside of it. Um, where would it be? Or maybe I shouldn't worry about that? Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna go ahead and place the science machine down, since I'm gonna need to place the alchemy engine down anyway. Okay, backpack. Ah, much better. Um, let's go ahead and try to start organizing tools a little bit. I'm gonna need a pickaxe and an axe for sure. As well as a shovel. Shovel. Axe. Pickaxe. Gonna need a spear. There we go. I'm going to need a log suit, but I can't make that yet. And I'm gonna need... Oh! Other things. Uh, four cut stone is going to be necessary for the alchemy engine itself. So let's go ahead and do that for two electrical doodads. Um, then we're going to need four boards. That's one board. Um, you need some other things, but right now I'm not going to worry about them since my inventory is full. Alright, now let's go out and chop some trees, because I need more wood. Also, I totally wouldn't mind killing a pig guard, except for probably not that one, because he's too close to the village. Alright, you know what? He's asking for it. Uh, actually, what I should do, real quick make this. There we go. My, uh, kiting skills might be a little rusty. Okay, you know what? You didn't have to join in. Please. Alright, this part's gonna be a little intense. I got hit. That's fine though, that's why I have this helmet. Okay, there's one down. I- Excuse me, sir. You're ignoring me, the one who was attacking you. Please. Are you gonna attack me? I'm awaiting your move. Uh, this is so much easier with just one. Oh, come on, just die already. Please. Oops, then dodge that one. Come on, there we go. <sighs> Finally. Alright, let's go ahead and grab a halberd. Those come in handy. Alright. Oh, and bats are coming. Great. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, well, that's just how this game operates. Uh, oh boy. Where's my spear gone? Here it is. Alright, I'm just gonna have to tank this. There we go. 
No big deal. And for now, you're just gonna have to deal with the fact that I can't see most of my screen because uh, I don't really have the inventory space to make the regular goggles. Um, let's go ahead, though, and pick the remainder of this grass that I stole from. Since grass is kind of hard to come by. Oops. Alright, and let's get back to chopping these trees down. I've got one board, six logs. <sighs> Alright, let's go ahead and make one more board. And which tree gives me the most logs? Because these trees don't seem to give a lot of logs per tree. Um, Alright, let's go ahead here and chop this tree next. There's going to be a thing inside of it, and it's going to eat something from the tree. Yep, it ate one of the seeds. Nope, it ate a log. You punk. I'll kill you for that log. Come here. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Thank you. <laughs> hey, I warned him. Alright, now we should head back to the science machine and make an alchemy engine. <laughs> Where is the science machine? It's right here. Okay. Here we are. Um, oh, I need one more cut stone since I used one for the armor. There we go. Ah, much better. Um, let's see. Do I... Let's just put this up here for now. And let's go ahead and make some spectacles. Great. There we go. Now I don't have to deal with that annoying border around the screen. Okay, now what else do I need to make? I need to make shears for certain. Shears are definitely important, and I need to make a ball-peen hammer at some point, though I don't know if I should make it now. Eh, why the heck not? Let's make it now. There we go, and that makes us clean out of iron, and flint for that matter. Okay, alright. Now let's go ahead and explore the town a bit more. Um, make, with the shears, go ahead and get some of these clippings. This is how we start earning money. And we slowly work our way up through our empire. Um, I'm trying to think of what other ways I can earn money. I see we have lots of berry pigs. Pigs who will accept berries for like three oinks a piece, which is good because of that. Because I found that berry bush farm earlier. Um, I'm going to be able to take great advantage of that. Uh, I don't want to place the alchemy engine down until I actually get inside of my slanty shanty. So for now, I'm just going to have to hold on to it. But I do want to get a better feel for what this town has to offer. Okay. Looks like a dead end this way. Slanty Shanty's kind of far away and not really near anything, which is a bit obnoxious, but... Oh well. Eh, it's kind of near some things, I guess. Alright, let's keep looking around here. You're still thinking about getting this game? Well, just so you know, Tom, this is this is Don't Starve and not Don't Starve Together. Two separate games, you know. But yeah, Don't Starve's very fun because the DLCs uh, have quite a lot packed into them 
that they simply can't put over in Don't Starve Together because making all this, like, building, all these buildings work in, like, a multiplayer environment would just kind of be hell to program correctly. Also, if your birthday is less than a month uh, away, Yeah, it is kind of confusing, but people thought it was more confusing when they were the same game. Because people or like, it's not that they were the same game, it was a weird situation like way back when. Um, Don't Starve Together used to be like a, basically like a paid DLC for Don't Starve. So you had to own Don't Starve in order to play Don't Starve Together, which was the multiplayer expansion. But then they eventually just said, you know, screw it, Don't Starve Together is its own separate game for the multiplayer. Whereas Don't Starve is its own separate game for the single-player DLCs like Hamlet and Shipwrecked. But that's not to say Don't Starve Together doesn't have its own unique content, because it does. It has quite a lot of it, actually, now. Uh, which is very nice. So I've explored this whole town. There's the city hall. Um, I broke my shears, which is a bit unfortunate, but that means that once it turns day, I can go ahead and sell... Uh, sell my clippings away. Um, the berry bush farm was this farm? Or... No, oh, here it is. Yeah, I can see because they're actually berry bushes. I thought your birthday was like in March though, not February. Less than a month away to me implies it's in February. Because right now it's only the 2nd of February. Um, I actually do want to go off this way and see what other farms I can find, too. But first, I'm going to try and sell my clippings away. It's March 1st. Oh, so yeah, I suppose that is a fair thing to say that it's less than a month away, considering it is uh, almost exactly a month away. Please. Why can't I give you my clippings anymore? There we go. I need 50 oinks in order to buy that slanty shanty. Um, so this is going to put me real close. But not quite there. Let's go ahead and investigate this. Ooh, okay, I actually found something. Oop, the shovel and the axe sort of got switched around. There we go. And dig up the stump. And it's a little guitar thing. <sighs> well, what goes here normally? I think that's usually where I put my light, but I don't have a light on me right now, so that's where the spear can go. You know what game I'm definitely going to get, like, for my birthday, with whatever birthday money I get? Animal Crossing New Horizons comes out March 20th, and my birthday, being five days afterward, is, a uh, is not a long wait at all for that game. Please, do not eat the- anything that I just- no, please. You're getting a Switch for your birthday? Ooh, well you'll have to share your friend code with me. Please no, don't! Alright, that was kind of worth it. Uh, examine? Even failure is discovery. Yeah, yeah, Wagstaff, we get it already. Hey man, I think the Switch is a very, very good system, so I definitely encourage you to buy it. Any, uh, any ideas to what games you're thinking you want to get for it? Uh, have a twig.
Oh, butterflies. I definitely could use some of you. I also need to place down a campfire one of these nights so I can cook some of my food. Because I am starting to get a little hungry. And I can't really eat food raw without it being painful. Okay. Smash, Mario Kart, Mario Party, Animal Crossing, Snipper Clips. Those are all very good choices, yeah. Uh, I would say that... Hmm... No, actually, I can't even remember what I was going to say. <laughs> Oh, it's just a bit surprising that you don't have, like, Mario Odyssey on that list, or, uh, Breath of the Wild, but I suppose maybe by now those games are old news. Oh, you just forgot Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hold on. Gotta focus here. Breath of the Wild doesn't seem like your kind of thing. To be honest with you, that's what I thought too. But then I played it, and I was like... It's incredibly fun. Like, I wasn't even a big Zelda fan. But that game is just... I mean, it's so good. You know? However, I won't be the one to tell you your opinion is wrong if you don't want to... If you don't think it's fun. <laughs> Heck, for me it was so fun that I actually considered, like, it probably is one of the most fun games of the decade. You don't like story games much? Stories in games much at all, so Zelda games aren't your greatest interest? Well, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Uh, people don't play Zelda for the story. They, they play Zelda for the gameplay. In fact, Zelda stories aren't usually all that good because it's just the same story used over and over again. And Breath of the Wild is no different. Nobody plays it for the story, they play it for the awesome gameplay. <laughs> Alright, I just need to be far away enough from the pig guards to where they won't put out my fire the moment I put it down. Please run into the tree, thank you my dung beetle. Um, you had nothing useful. And so you've disappointed me severely. Alright, let's keep- oh yeah, I should probably put this back on now. <laughs> I do like stories in my games. Not to say that I, I pick games with the best stories, because, you know, I, I play games like Kingdom Hearts, where the story just is absolutely god-awful. But it at least has, like, you know, a story that it's trying to tell, even if it's absolutely terrible at telling it. So I, I do appreciate a good story in my games. But that being said, some of my favorite games have no story whatsoever. Oh my goodness. That scared me. Alright. Oh no, yeah, no. You don't really need to know the story of Zelda at all in order to actually play it. Let's go ahead and try and cook these before they go bad. Maybe I'll get to eat these all. Especially in Breath of the Wild's case, because of its open world nature, like... You hardly ever even get to interact with the story. 
Not to say that it's non-existent, it's just... It's not nearly as forced as some other Zelda games. You don't like RPGs because of stories. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Again, I also tend to play RPGs more for the gameplay than the story, but there are also some, like Kingdom Hearts, where it's more about the story and the characters than it is about the gameplay. Even though Kingdom Hearts has very solid gameplay as well, and I definitely wouldn't play it if it wasn't just fun to play. I'm just saying, yeah, I, I see what you mean. It RPGs, a big part of the experience does tend to be the story. Alright, now I'm gonna have to pick these because I want that sweet cash. But I'm gonna have to be careful because this guy is not gonna be very happy with me. Not to mention another problem with RPGs is just their pure length. I mean, some of them can go on and on forever. Okay, let's try and not hold on to 80 million different weapons that I'm never gonna use. I wonder where this log suit came from, though. I just think RPGs also have a very fun gameplay style. Action RPGs, to be, to be precise. I don't like turn-based combat all that much, but... The more action RPGs. I like the leveling up with experience and, like, you know... Equipping your party members appropriately and things like that. I, I think that's sort of fun. But yeah, especially in the case of Kingdom Hearts, like, you might sit there for like an hour watching cutscenes before you get to play the game again. You don't like Undertale because it relies heavily on story? I mean, yeah, I guess, but like... I don't know, the story's charming. Like, how could you not like Undertale's story? Even if you don't like stories. It's not, like, super shoved down your throat, but, you know. <sighs> I guess if you don't like it, you don't like it. <laughs> anyway, this is where we're gonna start making lots of money. And this is why we rob berry farms. Eventually I'm gonna have to dig up those berries so that way I can just replant them as my own and I don't have to worry about stealing. But for right now I'm just going to steal from them. Okay. Uh, let's see if we have a couple more berry pigs we can trade with. Here's one right here. Um, there you go. And here's another. Yeah, this this village is very good with the um, the berry pigs. There are lots of them here. Now with all this, I should probably head over to the mayor's office and actually buy the slanty shanty and go ahead and place down my alchemy engine and actually get to doing some productive work. Uh, let's see if we can't find a couple more berry pigs while we're at it though. Here's another. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, that's probably enough for now, so let's go ahead and head in. Demolition permit. House expansion permit. I forgot about those. Deed of home ownership. Alright. Uh, I've already traded with you, haven't I? Yes, I've already traded with you. Okay. Things people like about stories don't really attach to you much, like morals and emotions. You can't really feel that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess I get that perspective. But at the same time, the reason why I enjoy story games more, more or less is because the uh, 
characters in story games tend to have like more fleshed out personalities. Like uh, they just tend to be more likable and funny and things like that than you know your basic Mario where he's just kind of Mario. There's no real personality to him. Alright, let's go ahead and place the alchemy engine down right over here. Then let's go ahead and build a fire pit like right here. Not that I might need this fire pit or anything, but you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I guess I understand. Alright, put down your deed there, because you don't need it on you at all times. Um, put away these halberds, because you're probably not going to be using those anytime soon. Ooh boy, can't make any gold tools yet. Um, oh right, how am I going to make a crock pot? Because I forget what that requires. Oh, just three cut stone? I can just barely afford that. Rock pot. You want to put that like right about here. No, I guess I understand you. It is nice to have just the simpler party games from time to time. They're a lot easier to pick up and play. That's that's probably one of the bigger problems of story games, to be honest, is that, like, when you start playing them, it feels like you have to keep going all the way through uh, at that rate, you know? Also, I don't need to make football helmets because I can make visors, so that is a valid point to consider. Uh, what else do I need? Because I feel like I'm not fully prepared. I feel like I'm missing something, but... Uh, how do I make a gas mask? Let's, let's take that into consideration. I already have... Okay, I already have a lot of what I need for it. It's good. Pig skins I need to keep on me. The flint I need to keep on me. Okay, um... This is looking very solid. Uh... Let's go ahead and actually make some... I don't know, let's just make something. Well, if you don't like, stories and books and movies also have not been very interesting for that reason. You can't put yourself in the character's shoes and really feel what the story wants you to feel. <sighs> yeah, I guess, but in the case of video games, I understand not being much of a story person, but like, in the case of books and movies, isn't that the whole point of a book or a movie is to, is the story? So do you just, like, not like movies or books in general? Although, I guess movies, there's also just, you know, the cool visuals, like the action scenes and whatnot, but... In the case of books, it, books are literally just stories, so... <laughs> you must not be a, a big fan of books, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess so. Um, oh right, it's a new day, so let's go ahead and start trading away to the, the Berry Incorporation. Ah, that's what I need. I need to go get more irons, so that way I can make more shears, because shears are valuable to get more clippings to get more money. Because that's how the economy works. Um... All right, let's go ahead and buy from you, my good sir. And I don't need this anymore since I have a sign or sorry, an alchemy engine. So I will go ahead and break you down, and I will move my gold into its proper place. <sighs> oh yeah, and I forgot picking up poop. Uh, also is a way of getting paid. 
When your school forced you to read literature for Dutch, German, and English, and to analyze the hidden meanings... Oh yeah, to be honest, even though I do like some good story games and whatnot, I hate having to analyze, like, the deeper metaphorical meanings behind things, like, oh, you know, the shoe was symbolic of his relationship with his father because his father always crushed his hopes and dreams beneath his shoe or things like that, you know. I, I, I'm actually not even a big fan of that, despite the fact that I'm in, like, you know, AP English class where that's all we do. Um, yeah, no, I, I hate that element, but, like, as far as just sitting down and enjoying a good story goes, yeah, I like a good story. But yeah, analyze, having to analyze stories, that takes all the fun out of them, in my opinion. Because then you can really realize a lot of the plot holes and everything. And while people like doing that sort of stuff, I don't know. Makes you, uh, makes you not really enjoy what you used to enjoy. Alright, so let's see. What do I need to do? Um... I have lots of money, so there's the mud spa, the general store. Let's visit the general store, because that's probably going to have a couple tools I might need. Maybe. Perhaps. Maybe. I see no one wants to pay me for that. Alright. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I guess that's also a, uh, a fair point. Miner hat, huh? That's not actually a bad thing to buy. But I'm looking for cloth. That's not cloth, that is just more flint, my good sir. That's a machete. That is a pickaxe. Uh, yikes. Okay, you know what? I was going to use a pitchfork eventually. Um, and you know what? Let's buy an umbrella. Because that might come in handy. Sure, a fishing rod, why not? <sighs> Alright, I see how it is. You really don't want to sell me a piece of cloth. Alright, whatever. Let's head back to the slanty shanty. I actually forgot I wanted to uh, make a chest for storage. But maybe not. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh, um, I have no idea why we got on this subject. Oh, well, we got on this subject from Breath of the Wild and Zelda and whatnot, because you were getting a Switch because it was your birthday coming up, and for your birthday coming up, you were considering getting Don't Starve. And hey, that you can't say that Don't Starve doesn't have a story. It's one of those, like, stories that you have to find for yourself. It's not... You're not implicitly, like, walked through the story... You just have to, or, you know, explicitly, whatever the word is, man. It's not like one of those story-driven games. It's just a game with subtle storytelling through the world and the environment and whatnot. Because there is a, a big overarching story to Don't Starve, but I honestly couldn't even tell you the beginning of it because I, I don't know. Okay, so actually, what I remember I want to do is I want to get... I want to expand my area with this pitchfork, and I know I've got like 50 other things I need to do right now, but that's just how I am playing Don't Starve. I often lose focus, and that's why Don't Starve Together is more fun for me, because I have friends around who can make sure that we get tasks completed even if I lose my focus. Okay. Right, let's first establish how big of an area we want to turn into grass for growing stuff. And I would say probably about a square like this size is good enough. Like, from, yeah, 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 all the way over to the sidewalk. This should probably be large enough as a lawn.
I actually don't know what I bought that umbrella for, because I don't think I'm ever going to use it. Even when it rains, I just don't have the inventory space to hold an umbrella. Ah, you have a job? What what job do you work? I don't actually have a job yet. Uh, probably won't get a job until after college or maybe sometime during uh, college I'll get a job. But where do you work, Tom? So I'm going to need to get 10... Oh, uh, actually, I needed to get a little bit more. Oh, you do a paper route. Paper routes always seem like a pretty easy job, uh, just because, you know, it's, it's nice and simple. It's not working with customers or things like that. Although, uh, you might actually see a customer from time to time. Also, that was close. Uh, way too close for comfort, actually. So let's go ahead and place some mossy turf all around. Alright, and... Um, I'm just gonna leave the torch. Don't really want to carry that. Hey, Tom, I have it under, um, I've heard, at least, that due to certain circumstances, you may or may not be receiving an extra copy of Don't Starve Together from Mr. Tonio himself, who was here earlier in the stream. I don't know exactly for sure if that's the case, but last time I checked, you should or should not be receiving that. Yeah. I don't re exactly remember what happened, but basically Tony has an extra copy, and, um... So he, he wanted to know who to give it away to, and I was like, give it to Tom, because he's expressed interest in the game before, and he's an anime police, so... Why not? You know? But maybe he doesn't want to give it away just yet or something, because... I don't know. I don't know why, but... Yeah. From last I heard, that was going to happen. Hey, and I would definitely be willing to teach you how to play, so... Perhaps if Tony would actually get off his lazy butt and give it to you already, we could have been playing right now. Yeah, yeah, I understand that, but just, you know, if he has an extra copy and he needs someone to give it away to, I just recommended you because I thought you'd be the, uh, the best choice. Alright, so now I've got my lawn all nice and settled. Uh, let's go ahead and head inside because bats are attacking and I don't want to deal with that. Place this right here. Go ahead and just drop a torch right there, why not? Anything else I need to leave behind? Hmm. No, not really. I just need to... Get going. Alright, let's see if we can't get our pig guard friends to help us. There we go. That wasn't bad at all. Thank you, miss. 
All right, now let's for sure go get some iron, because, like, I just need iron. And while I'm at it, I'll try and grab some other miscellaneous materials that I just don't have on me, such as charcoal and corks. Or cork? I don't know. Is the is the plural form of cork just cork, or is it corks? Sounds weird either way. Oh, and I should definitely plant these seed pods, huh? Yeah, I probably don't need them for food anymore, so... Might as well plant them, especially if I plan on getting more logs in the future and whatnot. It's almost midnight, so you're gonna head off? Oh, just switch off to your phone. Alright. See you in a quick second, then. Let's go ahead and mine this boulder. Yeah, I just need to go out and find some more gold and stuff. I should maybe eventually come back to the... The things, the, the little statue things that I can use my ball peen hammer on to get gold. I should probably head over there at some point. Uh, but for now, I'm going to actually just follow the wo world border this way. And gather whatever raw materials I can. Let's investigate this. Ooh, we got something. And it was a boat. Okay. To be honest, I forget what you use trinkets for in Hamlet. I think there's a particular shop on the other island that I have to go to. Man, I don't know why I always do this to myself, you know? I always go, yeah, I'm bored right now. Why not just do a Don't Starve stream? Because people like the Don't Starve streams, uh, probably the most out of all my other streams. And because uh, I like Don't Starve, and it's just one of those things that I'm very experienced with, and uh, one of those things that I already know works for a stream, but then I get to actually play in Don't Starve, and I just go, ah, man, you know... I wish I was just doing something else right now. But it's too late, I've already committed to the stream. I will keep up the momentum for as long as I can. Oh, hello, uh, Donna Baldwin. Let's see, um... 28 charcoal is not bad. Oh, right, and while I'm out here, I need to chop some... What are these called? Claw palm trees. Right, I need to chop some of that for cork. Corks. Whatever. Just playing some uh, Wagstaff in Hamlet. Do I remember? Hmm... Hate to say it, but no, I don't think I do. Uh, if you appeared on a previous stream or not, or something like that. It's been a while, okay? <laughs> so I apologize. Um, I should probably just make another action, I? Let's do that. Since I'm going to need more cork anyway, probably. Oh, it's you, Dan. Good to see ya. Yeah, I, I do remember now, actually, now that you mention it. I forgot you had a different account, but yeah. <laughs> I should have just guessed it was you anyway, since, you know, you have a habit of showing up to all my streams. Oh, 
Also, I forget, what do you even do on a full moon in Hamlet? Like, is there anything special? I don't remember. Eh, whatever. I'm wasting it. Ever since Wormwood, yeah. You know, Wormwood is my most popular stream. It's got, uh... Last time I checked, it was somewhere in, like, the 700s for views, which is, like, incredibly impressive for me. Uh, because all my other streams don't even tend to reach, like, the the hundreds in general they stay to 10 they tend to stay sub 100 views but w that wormwood stream apparently people just liked it or I like because i did it the day he came out and wormwood was popular and i even named it appropriately and whatnot perhaps people simply just found it more but yeah that's been that's been my most popular stream and i i, I do enjoy that one quite a bit um, I'm not going to make a shovel yet. I'm just going to keep looking around. Also, when did I have two extra logs? I'll just go ahead and make a campfire to help save some of that inventory space. <sighs> All right. But hey, we're back to exploration. I did say I needed more iron, so maybe I shouldn't be ignoring these iron hulks and I should just be mining them for that iron. Yeah, what the heck, why not? Let's do it. Whoa, watch out. The only reason you found me is because you wanted to watch Don't Starve Together or Oni Don't- or any Don't Starve game. Well, yeah, I- I figured that's, uh, what it was. If I may share another secret with you, um, my- all my top performing streams have been Don't Starve or Don't Starve Together. Uh, anytime I've played any other game, it usually does not perform nearly as well. But, you know, I don't mind that, because I like Don't Starve, and I like Don't Starve Together quite a lot. And I'm not going to stop playing some other games. I'll just probably not stream other games as much, you know? I'll just play them in my own time. It's not like I'm super strict and dedicated to streaming. I barely ever stream in the first place, so I've got plenty of time for my own thing. Hey, welcome back, Tom. I'm just out looking for iron right now, which I've just found some. Please don't strike me with lightning. Do not smite me. How did I make it through the night? Did I place a campfire? If I placed a campfire, then why didn't I cook any food? Have I played Don't Starve Together since THE update? I, I don't understand what update you're exactly referring to, but if you're referring to Hook, Line, and Anchor, then yes, I've played Don't Starve Together. I was just playing Don't Starve Together yesterday, actually, and a little bit the day before as well. In fact, it was going to be a Don't Starve Together stream today, but I realized that I hadn't played uh, Hamlet in a while, and that I hadn't actually, like, really played Warly first, or not Warly, but Wagstaff first stream, so I was like, yeah, let's play Hamlet instead of Don't Starve Together. Oh, I forgot to plant the seeds. See, this is what I mean. Whenever I play this game, I just, my brain gets way too frazzled, and I get thinking of... Too many things at once, and I end up doing absolutely nothing. Or I just end up forgetting the easier things to do. It's officially February 3rd for you. You're in the future. Oh, yeah. Um, won't happen for me for another six hours, so...
Man, how does it feel, Tom, to be a time traveler? Like, that's really impressive. Um, you know what? It won't hurt to investigate this. Alright, let's go ahead and chop this bad boy down. And I guess I will make a shovel. Ooh, okay, and that is why you investigate things. Lost totem. Worth ten oinks back at the town. Let's see, and we're about to meet up with where we've already explored before. So might as well start heading back then. You own a comic book about a time traveler named Thomas, who's from 2020? I think that comic book is trying to tell you something. It's your destiny. Interpretation of 2020 is inaccurate as heck. Ah, well, tell me more about it then. I want to know what did what did they think 2020 was gonna be like uh, back whenever they wrote the comic book. Oh boy, let's be careful not to get beaten up here. Oh, a cave cleft. This could be good for some gold. Gen 8, isn't that the most recent generation? The one that is currently right now with Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield? Yeah. Okay. Pokemon Sword and Shield are, in my opinion, good and bad games. Because they are good... Uh, they are good because they are Pokemon, and Pokemon is fun and enjoyable. But they are bad because, like... Come on. You know? They're bad because they're missing what feels to be integral content. And I get I get the whole ordeal with the with the time crunch and the whatnot and the everything. I get it. Do I want what? Nah, I'm good. I do not need I do not need ramen. Anyway, what was that uh, that I was saying? Super environmentally friendly? What? Hold on. Oh, the interpretation of 2020. I see what you're talking about now. Okay, let's go ahead and get the heck out of here. Oh, that's why I didn't make a campfire. It was a full moon. I remember now. Yeah. Fuel, nuclear energy was completely banned. Cops are replaced by flying cameras. Water is too expensive, so people only drink juice from a beet. Wow. Yeah, no. We're nothing like that. We're very, very boring. Um, Swinesbury Academy. This is where I trade in my this for my that. Alright. Um, and now that I've come back with corks and iron, I can make some other stuff. And gold! Oh yeah, I can, uh... Here, let's actually do that right now then. I need to make two torches... So I already have one here, I just need to pick up another. Okay, so first of all, let's go ahead and... Let's make shears, because we need those, for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the charcoal, because I'm not going to need that on me at all times. Same with the cork. Don't need cork on me at all times. Don't need iron ore. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think I need iron ore on me. I can just leave it here at the house. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, yes. I need the torch. I need to make a second torch. And I need to make an electrical doodad, which requires a cut stone and two gold. And with this, I can make Wagstaff's most overpowered item in the game. Well, first let's put this on so we don't waste any durability. And froggles! Basically, night vision. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this away. Um, I probably don't need the log suit, to be perfectly honest. And then we can put in froggles up here, and then we can just make another pair of spectacles. There we go! It's a comic from 2000. 2000's not even that far away. Like, did they really think we were going to change that much in 20 years, or...? I assume they weren't really going for, for accuracy, they were just going for fun. More. More for fun than for an actual attempt at guessing history. Alright, let's see. Uh, what can I do? What should I do? I should definitely try and plant some stuff, but I need the manure to support that sort of an economy anyway. Ah, uh, what else can I do? Um, I can go to the general store and see if he can sell me a piece of cloth. Or, I can go to my spawn point, which has cloth guaranteed from the blimp crash. Let's do that. What would the world be like in 2040? You know, that is a good question. Even though 2000 to 2020 realistically didn't change all that much, 2020 to 2040 I feel like has the potential to change a whole heck of a lot more. I mean, what, technology advances exponentially, right? So... At this rate, it's just gonna keep getting faster and faster. Ooh, wow, okay, I see someone doesn't like me still. I'll be leaving, I'll be leaving. <laughs> oh, you don't like me because I stole from this field. Okay, I guess that's fair. Well, you know what? You know what I do to people who don't like me, right? I murder them. Oh, come on. Hold on, just need a little bit of focus here. Please. Oh, he's equipped the torch. If I were Wormwood, this would be a more deadly fight, but because I'm Wagstaff, it's actually less scary now. Because he's gonna hit hurt me significantly less. I'm just trying to make sure he doesn't run close enough to the other guys to trigger them. <sighs> and there we go. And honestly, at this point, I can probably just ditch the spear for now. Bring my halberd instead. Or whatever. Oh, and the shears I should have used up while I was there and then left them. But that's okay, because I'm headed right back anyway. Don't starve 2040 DLC when... Honestly... It's surprising how long Clay has been supporting Don't Starve, like... For... for for them, it must be kind of tiring, you know? Having to keep coming up with new ideas and expanding their worlds and still making it, like, all flesh together really well and... And all that. Like, it can be creatively draining, I assume. If, if I were them, I'd want to work on different games rather than just Don't Starve. I mean, don't get me wrong, they do work on different games, but... 
it's just like uh, there's it comes to a point where you just want to like stop supporting don't starve right just so you can really focus your efforts on something else but they've they've been doing it for a long time now and they don't show any signs of stopping I'm not saying they're going to keep supporting Don't Starve even into 2040, but, you know, they could. You think Minecraft is going to be supported even into 2040 and, like, Terraria? Well, I don't think Terraria is supposed to, but... Minecraft is, right? Terraria is supposed to be getting like a sequel or something. As far as I uh, last heard. Yeah, Minecraft is definitely possible for uh, future... future sort of treatment. Alright, let's go ahead and place this board down. Cloth, cloth plus this, come over here, this makes a gas mask, and you can place this back down and put your gas mask over here, um, pick up a halberd, put up the gas mask, pick up another halberd, put up the log suit, put down a halberd in here, and then you can probably put the other one back outside. Uh, grab the boards, refine the boards into planks, and make another chest. Or make a chest for the very first time, apparently. Put this in here with a couple of these. Put a couple twigs on the campfire just to cook a couple of these. You remember watching a charity livestream with a really weird inside joke that caused every viewer to set a reminder for 2034. Huh. On a similar note, I suppose, one of my friends uh, in school, they had their phone taken away by another one of my other friends, and... Uh, my other friend happened to use their phone to, um... What they did with their phone was they they set an event on their, like, Google Calendar for Halloween. But they made it Halloween every single day for, like, the next 20 years or so. So now they just have to put up with it being Halloween. Basically forever. Um... Hold on, I need to make a lightning rod. Where's the lightning rod? What the heck? How do you make a lightning rod? Ah, I need more gold. Well, I can buy more gold, luckily, so. It's right here. Oh, come on. Whatever. Alright, and with this gold, I should... Place a lightning rod. Because it's going to start thundering pretty soon here, and I don't want it to burn my house down. Okay, so let's try and find the relative center. Okay, well, I see these grass tufts are going to be in the way, so I'm just going to dig them up. I'll store them away for planting later. Alright, now that that's done and settled with, I can place the lightning rod somewhat in the center here. Yeah, this seems to be about center. There we go. I'm also going to need to... Just named Peggy. Yeah, you should send me that link on Discord. I'll read it uh, after the stream, because I'm interested to know why you uh, did that. Alright, now I do need to make a drying rack 
because I want to get a stocking cane. And that's just going to take three ropes, but I'm going to make two of them, so let's make six ropes. Five and six. Oh, almost made a little too many there. Then using some of my charcoal, I can do that. Bug suit, football helmet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Straw roll. Fairly standard stuff. And hey, there's some of that lightning I was just talking about. See? I know how to play this game. There we go, so now we have those for whenever I can kill some dudes for their their vines or whatever. Ah, I see you've sent me the link. I'll just have to remember to do that after the stream. Okay. So... Now what I want to do is I want to go back to clipping everything. So these four patches right here, basically. Um, also, I'm going to grab the manure from in here and... Uh, no, I'll just leave it in here. I was going to take it outside with me, but I decided against it. Okay. So this is the annoying um, humid season where it's just ah, fog and lightning. Um, yep, we still got more hedges to go. Ferris the whale. <laughs> It's palindrome day? What is what is palindrome day? To be honest with you, I don't even remember what a palindrome is, although I know I knew what it was at one point. Hmm, these shears are probably gonna break. Yeah, they're definitely gonna break. But hey, that's another easy 40 gold right there. We just have to find someone willing to trade it. Which I don't think we can do during the evening, or is it only during the night? No, they're not out during evening. Although, wait, hold on. Um, she's the carrot lady, I think. If I get into her shop before it turns to night, she'll still trade with me in her shop. Okay, that lightning bolt almost struck me. Palindrome is a word or phrase that is the same forwards as it is backwards. Now look at the date. The date is 2-2-2020. Oh, I, I get it, because it's like 0202-2020 or something like that. Yep, here's the correct shop. So I can trade with you. I might not be able to trade with you now at night. Nope, you still take me at night. Please stop moving. I, I wish to trade with you. Rolling in the dough now. Let's see, anything worth buying? I like how you can buy berries for one oink and then sell them back for three. Uh, but no, I don't think there's anything worth buying. Um... What am I doing back here now? <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> oh, 
I'll just wait out here until morning. Wagstaff seems a little cold, probably because he's still wet from uh, the humidity outside. Hmm. Another interesting thing is that you were born on a thirds day. Since a third can be written as one dash three, every one dash or one slash three on a Thursday is a thirds day. Right. Um. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. Yeah. Because one is the day, while three is the month. I understand. For. For me, that would be January 3rd, but for you, that is March 1st. <laughs> I don't actually know what day of the week I was born on, so I couldn't really tell you there. I need to go in here, though. I know that. Let's grab a couple of these. Just to help clear up some inventory space. There we go. Alright, and let's head back to the jungle so that way I can get some stuff going on. I will just leave my 10 piece oinks here at the house. Alright. Man, and I just dried off. Oh, you know, we might have talked about what day I was born on, yeah. But I definitely don't remember you bringing up Thirds Day, being born on a third day, thirds, thirds day. That I definitely do not remember. Oh, hello, pig thief. Where are you running off to? Oh, guess nowhere. Come on. Let me see what's in this poop ball. Flint and rocks. I mean, I didn't know what else to expect. <sighs> I should probably dig up a couple of these and bring them back home. Because I already have what, three in the chest, so if I dig up seven of these, I will have ten. And ten is just a nice amount to be growing uh, back at home for a bit easier access. Man, I forgot just how good the Hamlet music is. Plus, digging up these tall grasses turns them back into like, regular grass. Alright. This part's gonna be a little fun. Oh, well. This part's gonna be extra fun now. Where are you, bats? I'm ready. Big skin. I was born on a Monday. Oh, okay. Uh, no, please. Why are there so many of you? Oh, I need to... Mm, I just want to kill one of the big ones so I can get a stalking stick.
Oh, poor dung beetle. Okay. This guy should be relatively clear of other enemies. What? Come on. How are you hitting me? You have impressive range. Hey, there we go. I still haven't planted my seed pods, huh? Yikes. Yes, the plants are running after me. They're not very friendly. What is this music? I don't remember this. It sounds so menacing. It's like a remix of the jungle theme. Oh, God. Grab the golden run. Get out of here while you still can. There's a thing over here that I'm going for. Reminds you of Piranha Plant from Mario Party DS. I did not actually ever get to play Mario Party DS. I've seen other people play it, but I did not ever get to play it myself. Ah, uh, this also is terrible. I can't see anything, which is not cool. Oh no. Okay, hold on. Nope, grab the grass. I need to just grab this gold and go. Oh, because there's so many bad guys. Ah, get out. Get out while you still can. Oh, I'm getting... No, this is not helpful. Okay, this is where we break out the emergency and froggles. And we just escape into the mant hill. Okay. Dear lord, that was scary. Open honey chest. I do not feel bad for eating all that honey. Build campfire. Cook some leafy meat. Eat that. Help clear up some inventory. Oh, hi! Fre friend. Hmm. I'm honestly considering, like, finding a new way out of here because, you know, the previous way was ransacked by, uh, demons. Excuse me, my friend. I simply wish to explore your abode. I see this is a dead end. My mistake. <sighs> oh, do these earthquakes, like, mix up the rooms or something? Oh, yeah. Yes, they most certainly do, because I used to be able to go up there. I think. Yeah, let's check out this next room. See what it looks like on the map, and then... Oop, you almost had me there, buddy. No, this room looks the same. Okay. It just might open a, up a couple new routes. Um, This only gives me rocks, I think, so... I don't actually know why I wasted my pickaxe on it. Enter door, please. Uh, 
All right. Enter this door. Ah, I see. So this is just a dead end now. Didn't used to be, but... Ah, and I'm back here. Okay. Um... I can go over to this guy and get some more gold. Let's do that. Just hopefully not running into more of those horrible, horrible bugs. Oh, I can hear them. I see them. Please don't follow me. Also, yes, I saw that idol. Oh dear. But I don't think the idol's worth it right now. Okay, just gonna run. Let's just do that. Running seems like a cool idea. You like how the map shows the path of where I went? Oh yeah, I like to follow the world border, so that's why it looks a little funky at times. <sighs> and now I just have to run for my life! Oh, I wasn't expecting to see this. It's like a little clearing. Oh, there's so much gold here. I just can't grab any of it because I'm too busy getting chased. Here we go. I can lose them through here. Although, I'm just gonna spawn more in. Okay, quick. Keep on the move. Oh dear. Oh, there's so much gold here. Oh, that's that's a lot of enemies. It's moments like these that I really wish I had that stocking stick. Okay, I see. Quick, help! I need more reinforcements! Oh yeah, Tom, this is very dangerous. This is like life-threatening stuff right here. I'm dancing with death as we speak. But that's just how Hamlet is. You sort of just have to deal with it. Okay, um... Okay. Yeah, they're... they're something. I don't remember exactly what they're called, but yeah, they're sort of similar to ladybugs, except for that they're like hell on earth. If you remember those glow flies from earlier, the glow flies go into those little cocoons and then they become those freaking demons that you just saw chasing me. Luckily, those are not in Don't Starve Together. Hamlet is meant to be very difficult, because, you know, that's how Don't Starve works. Each DLC comes out to be harder than the last DLC, because people eventually end up mastering the previous DLC, and then Clay has to go, well, it, they want a challenge again, so we gotta make something even harder. But their, their goal isn't purely to make something difficult, it's also to make a fun and unique experience, which this is, so I can appreciate them for doing that as well. They're like wasps in the bodies of ladybugs. Yeah, yeah, I, I could... Yeah, I would say that is an accurate description of those hell spawns. As I like to call them. Uh. Oh, 
Oh, hi! Spider monkeys. Good to see you guys. Oh, a cave cleft. Um, ooh, I hear an enemy in here, so I'm going to equip the infragles and beat the crab out of him. Big skin. I hate wasps and bees. Definitely hate wasps more though, because bees, like, they're kind of innocent. But wasps, they've got no excuse. Get out. Run! Why does everything want me dead so badly? A green emerald? Wow. Oh, it's so good. Dead guy with some rocks and a uh, pickaxe. Now, don't I feel stupid for just making a pickaxe? Now, where's this go? Oh, this is going to lead me to the eternal fountain of youth. Which might be worth finding. These sting less often, get punished for stinging, and they do good for the world. Wasps, on the other hand, are just pure evil. I could not agree with you more. <sighs> oh no, my seed pods, they're, they're gonna go bad before I can replant them, because I'm dumb and I forgot to replant them. Ugh. 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 Dude, why am I so tired? Even though it's only, like, 6.30 for me. Oh, yeah, no. I'm on the same page as you. I'm terrified of both bees and wasps. Even though I have a greater understanding for bees, that doesn't stop me from absolutely hating them because they're scary. Also, with all this gold, I might want to start making some, some stuff, like a telebrella or a telepad. Although, that takes gears, and I don't have gears. Oh, the thumper. Man, I just forgot how hard it is to actually do anything in Hamlet. Yeah, insects sort of freak me out. Bees especially, though, because they're, like, painful. I mean, I wouldn't willingly get near any insect, but if the choice was like, be trapped in the room with a bee or be trapped in the room with a spider, I would definitely pick the spider like 100 times out of 10. Even if the choice was like, be trapped in a room with like 10 spiders or be trapped in a room with a singular bee, I would probably pick the 10 spiders. Oh, look at me, I'm remembering to plant the seed pods. Also, yes, I do see the nightmare beast pursuing me. But look at that, he just disappeared. Butterflies are going to be very helpful. Hmm. Okay. Now that I'm back, let's go ahead and... Oh, that's where I need to go if I want to trade in this lost idol. <sighs> Pick up your poop. Thank you for the payment. You're more afraid of how a spider looks, but being in a room with bees has a lot more potential of being dangerous, so it's a tough pick. Yeah.
But like, if you're in a room with a spider, the spider's probably just gonna chill out in the corner. If you're in a room with a bee, that thing could do anything. You don't know a bee's murderous intentions. Alright, what does it take to make a lantern? A cowl always seemed very cool to me. Alright, you know what, sir? I will not put up with your harassment any longer. Please go away. A tarantula has the potential to be dangerous, though. Yeah, I guess. Tarantulas are way scarier. Looking, for sure. Uh, maybe I'm just... Like, I've gotten immune to spiders because I, uh... Because my mom, like, was like, hey, I like tarantulas, so deal with the fact that we're gonna have tarantulas in our house. And I was like, please, no. But that didn't stop her. <sighs> anyway. I think I just get extra tired whenever I'm on a stream. Because even though I do like to talk to myself a lot... It's way more tiring to do it like freak constantly like this and try to actually make sense of it all. And to be fair with you here, Tom, I'm not talking to myself nearly as much, but I, I still sort of have to, to keep talking, you know. Usually when I play games, I'm either very quiet or I talk a lot, but it's like under my breath. And it usually doesn't really make sense. And it's, it's not a constant flow of conversation um you've never seen a tarantula in real life yeah I mean you're not missing out on much it's just a really big spider so if you don't like spiders you won't like tarantulas talking is hard you know I actually uh, just yesterday had to go um, I had to go to Teal for interviews. Teal is my local college. Interviews for scholarships and stuff. And uh, the interviews were hard because they ask you the, the big open-ended questions. Like, you know, why do you want to go to Teal? Or what's one time in your life where you've perse persevered? Or why... Or, could you explain a moment in your life where you uh, had a leadership role and you took advantage of it? And that kind of talking is stressful and hard because you have to impress the other person. But uh, turns out I'm actually kind of funny because I could make my interviewers laugh. And that works in my favor real well. Um... Nothing I really want to buy, so... What was so wrong about your interview? You just couldn't answer the questions all that well, or... Or what? Let's just throw these bad boys in here. Poor Wagstaff, he's dying. <sighs> Ten piece oink. Alright, I'll just chill in here for the night. Although, perhaps I should plan out what I do tomorrow. I could... Let's just go find some ruins to explore, I guess. 
Yeah, that sounds like it could be fun. Sure. You were planning on going to a video editing thing, and you had to get a portfolio and make something for them. And within a few days, you got notified that you were not creative enough. Wow. That's harsh. That's like real harsh. At least with my face to face interviews, even if I lose. They probably. Ugh, sorry, they probably won't. Uh. Insult me. <laughs> and like, I definitely didn't have to put up with any of that right there. Such a generic notice to, uh, unfortunate. Yeah, it could be rough. The world's very competitive right now, and uh... If you don't got something to show, People aren't going to really want you, which is, you know, unfortunate. You know, Tom, if you don't mind, I'm actually going to end the stream right now. I haven't done much, but I'm very tired, uh, and I want to... I don't have a lot of free time as it is, uh, and well, yes, I'm not doing anything better right now. I'm gonna go find something else to do, because I'm just a little too tired for this. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a nice talk and all. I'm sorry for the, uh, short length and all, but, you know, that's just how it is. I can't even follow this up tomorrow, because tomorrow I've got tons of homework to do. But hey, at least I get the day off, right? So that's fun. Once this is done loading, I'll go ahead and turn everything off, so... Alright, well, thanks for joining me, Tom. It's always a pleasure to talk to you, so... Uh, see ya, see ya sometime in the future. <laughs>